Minnesota's new Democrats in Congress, Dean Phillips and Angie Craig, both represent what are known as cross-pressure districts. Cross-pressure Democrats are those Democrats who represent districts that could be represented by a member of either party. So the impeachment drama in D.C. ramps up the pressure as the House moves toward voting on articles of impeachment for abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. In districts that could conceivably elect a member of either party, that's tough for them. It's tough to, you know, sort of go against the constituents of their party who have supported them, but it's also, you know, tough to go against constituents of the other party who may have supported them in the past election. Veteran Democrat Colin Peterson's 7th district went for President Trump by 30 points. Peterson recently said this impeachment process continues to be hopelessly partisan without support from Senate Republicans going down this path is a mistake. Even if all 45 Democrats and two independents in the Senate voted to convict President Trump, they'd still need 20 Republicans to join them. Well, Craig and Phillips are likely hearing from partisans on both sides of the aisle who feel very strongly about this. Now, late today, Dean Phillips said that he will vote to impeach. He was most concerned about the obstruction charge, saying that if we can't obtain documents and witnesses to fulfill our oath of Constitution, it's a slippery slope. Representative Angie Craig said that she's still reviewing the articles of impeachment and all of the relevant testimony, and she says she does not take this decision lightly. Randy? All right. Thank you, John.